is Lena Patel and welcome to Fashion Fusion. Today we're going to talk about swim suits because it's swimsuit season, gym wear and the Cannes Film Festival that happened over the past weekend. To start off with, long gone are the times when gym wear was only relegated to the gym. Now, off-duty clothes are either sneakers, tights or tank tops. Here are a few looks that you could try as well. From fresh sneaks to cool bomber jackets and active wear designed by Beyonce herself, we rounded up the best pieces that you could wear at your bar or spin class and beyond. So, it's summer swimsuits! Just like the little black dress, everyone needs a cute black swimsuit. Here are a few black swimsuits that we've chosen for you, because black is not only a color that makes you look slim, but it also goes with everything you have. We included a basic sporty mallet for one of those days when you want to keep it simple, but ahead fine styles with studs, cutouts, ruffles, and scalloped edges for some much needed drama. Ask any of my friends or co-workers. I love floral prints. Whether it's a mini or a maxi, you'd always find me in a floral print. I mean, it's the hallmark for spring and summer. So, what can you wear other than floral? I mean, don't get me wrong, florals are beautiful and they light up my mood even if I'm not going to a garden party. But here are a few other prints that would do the very same. There are other patterns that feel fresh and playful during these warm weather months, such as stripes, gingham or even fruit. Why not sport a watermelon when it's above 70 degrees out? So we sourced the market and found the prettiest printed dresses without a bloom in sight. Wear these cute numbers to daytime picnics and basically any time you're drinking a rose this summer. So for this week's makeup feature, we're going to be talking about Becca and Jaclyn Hill's Champagne Pop Face Palette. It's gone crazy over social media. It's re releasing this June, so watch out for it. When Becca collaborated with mega beauty blogger J Jaclyn Hill last year, they turned out to be the ultimate dream team. Hill created the most popular Becca highlighter ever, the Champagne Pop. This bright peachy gold shade sells out every time and has been restocked because it looks great on every single skin tone. So guess what? Now. Becca and Jaclyn Hill come up with a face palette which not only has three blushes but two highlighters and one of them being the Champagne Glow. So the Cannes Film Festival just happened last weekend and we totally agree that you do need heels for the red carpet. But that didn't stop Kristen Stewart from removing them off red carpet. She removed her stilettos for Superstar, Adidas Superstar Originals and we already know Kristen Stewart has a great laid off style, so here's what she wore. She sported the black and white kicks with a silver long sleeved mini dress from Chanel's FW16 collection, an example of high low dressing that was practically award worthy. Another celebrity that caught our eye at the Keynes Festival was Kendall Jenner. I mean, she always gets her eye, doesn't she? Well, she wore a beautiful gown by Roberto Cavalli, and it was really skin-bearing, actually, but the embroidery and the beautiful bell sleeves totally caught us off guard. Roberto Cavalli team took to Instagram to share multiple shots of the stunner from every angle, including a video. Even proud mom Kris Jenner and little sis Kylie Jenner couldn't help but post pictures of the 20-year-old model in the gorgeous gown Kendall who accessorized it with sparkly chauffeured bubbles and had a minimalistic black sandals. Basically stole the show. We all are still talking about it. When we say something goes with literally everything, we don't actually wear it with literally everything. But Emily Ratajkowski did, and here's what she wore. She proved that Stuart Weitzman's nudist sandals really worked for all occasions. These shoes have earned a reputation as a celebrity staple both on and off red carpet and eyeing Ratajewski's chic style that's easy to see why. The model is frequently spotted in the nudist, but in April we were impressed to see her style the minimalistic heels four different ways in seven days. From the pared down silhouette to the long 
leg elongated design, the sandals look just as good paired with vintage jeans as they do with a party dress. The model's go-to nude pairs add a touch of sophistication while letting her clothes do the talking. Simply put, she found the heels that look great no matter what you wear with them. Well, guess what? Selena Gomez, one of the greatest style stars we have, wore a Zara jacket, which is not sold out yet. Magically though, a Zara coat she's wearing in a recent Instagram post is still available. The brand's ripped denim duster coat for $90 is artfully shredded and features the phrase Beyond Ordinary Sight tucked into its lapel. It's an amazing spring staple and we can't wait to get our hands on it. Speaking of the Cannes Film Festival, our Bollywood celebrities were there too. One celebrity that stood out to us was Ashwarya Rai, and she pulled a very bold move. She had purple lipstick on, and the crowd literally went wild. While you might think it was daring and really strong of her, people think otherwise. They're actually making fun of her. Well now, if you ask my personal opinion, trying a purple lip shade isn't a bad decision. In fact, it's a stunning trend to catch up to, but it depends on how well you carry it. And speaking of purple, Sunny Leone is opting for purple hair. Yeah, that happened. This gorgeous miracle happened on the sets of Sunny's upcoming show, Spitzvilla, where the one night stand babe decided to color her hair purple and blue. Alongside with Ashwarya Rai, Sonam Kapoor was also there, killing it in her white Ralph and Russo gown. She sashayed down the red carpet on Sunday. The daughter of actor Anil Kapoor took moments to pause and pose for the camera. Her glamorous gown featured an extravagant cape with a leafy print splashed right across. Cutouts across the shoulders and choker feature added a sophisticated touch. With summer right around the corner, we all want to get out our bikinis and look super hot, don't we? Now, here are three exercises that you can do just to have those abs. Well, my non-existent ones anyways, but here they are. The plank, all you do is begin by laying face down on a mat, place your elbows in line with your shoulders and press up so that you balance on your forearms and toes. The side plank, and the side plank focuses on your oblique abdominal muscles. Begin in the traditional plank position, then add a new level by changing the focus to one side only. Balance on one forearm and the side of your foot. And that's it for this week's Fashion Fusion. I hope to see you here, same time, same show. My name is Lena Patel, signing out.